All right, we are starting up with Bootstrap from GTech Learn. Welcome to the series of Bootstrap. What you can expect from this video is we'll be discussing what is Bootstrap, what is the history of Bootstrap, and why we should be using Bootstrap. Well, in this video, the content we'll be discussing contains only theory. That means we do not have any demonstration in the first sequence or the first series of the video. We'll be having more demonstration followed by this video. Well, the audience profile for this is you should be having, um, I mean, the operating knowledge of mouse and keyboard, uh, the reading and writing skills on English language. You should be working with the basics of computers and uh, the working knowledge of HTML and the CSS. So Bootstrap is basically a free front end framework for faster and easier web development. We should be using Bootstrap if my design is responsive. That means if I want to make the RWD, that's responsive web design, I should be using Bootstrap. It was developed by two people in Twitter and that was released later on on open source in August 2011. And of course, it was the number one project in GitHub in 2014. So. Why you should be using Bootstrap? Number one, it's easy to use. They have their own defined CSS. We just need to use those classes in our code. All the features in Bootstrap are responsive. That means whatever we do, everything is responsive if we are using Bootstrap inside our website or web application we are designing. Mobile first approach that stands for whatever we develop in Bootstrap will be focused on containing, I mean, the mobile devices or it's a tablet device or it's a LED TV or it's a projector screen. My design should be responsive accordingly to the device width. Browser compatibility, almost every browser today supports Bootstrap. You can get Bootstrap from getbootstrap.com or you can include a CDN from the Content Delivery Network. So in simple and short, if your HTML file contains these three lines of code, that means you are using Bootstrap in your web application. So we are in importing those CSS and JavaScript libraries from the CDN from Bootstrap. Well, whenever you create new new web page, you include the doc type tag, then you have the Bootstrap where you say the viewport, which would be the device width of course, and then you have your container. So you can have the container class or the container fluid class. Well, that's what we have for today. Uh, if you want to reach us, reach us at www.gtechlearn.com or call us on the below phone numbers. You can hit like, share or subscribe on YouTube. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video in the series.